And even after 15 years, many who were alive during the attack still remember where we were, mm -hmm. what we felt when 9-11 happened. So true. CBS North Carolina's Justin Quisenberry has a story of a local man whose memories are ground zero. Fifteen years ago today, James Johnson was a New York City police officer. He lives in Cary now, training mentors for schools and after-school programs. Uh, I'm more grateful for every day because it feels like borrowed time. You know, uh, um, I was there at the building, um, and, and it missed me. So I don't want to miss the opportunity uh, to become the best I can be and help other people become the best they can. Where the World Trade Center was. Johnson says he helped try to get people to safety on September 11th, 2001, as a member of the NYPD. He says he went inside the buildings and helped people across the Brooklyn Bridge. He watched the Twin Towers fall, saying they looked like they were melting. He recalls the horror of seeing people fall with debris, hearing cries for help. But also, he remembers the hope in the weeks that followed. He was among the team searching and finding survivors in the rubble. I remember digging and, and finding finding people, you know, uh, we did rescue a lot of people and I remember the, the gratitude and and um, I also remember uh, every time a police car drove, every time we drove our police car in the community, people would stand in the street with signs and they would yell, thank you, thank you, everywhere we went. Johnson says his work now as a mentor is a lot like being a first responder and that sometimes what's important is not that you respond, but how you respond. In Beershell and Stefan, that's a message he hopes to spread to others on this day of reflection. You know, what a story, incredibly Absolutely. humbling to hear it from him, someone who was on the ground during those moments and, and really sacrificed a lot, I'm sure. That's right.